We're back, baby. Marvel Crisis Protocol, another 10 easy to miss rules for the superhero size skirmish game we love. I'm James with Midwest Protocol, and today we are deep diving into the Uncanny X-Men affiliation, one of my all time favorite comic book superhero teams and a great time to play on the table. Let's get into it. Rule number one, Nightcrawler's Brimstone Blitz. Nightcrawler's Brimstone Blitz takes advantage of all place effects that he performs. So all of them. This can be things like the portals for intrusions or Nightcrawler's very own Puff of Smoke and Banff. All of these place effects stack on one another to increase the amount of dice that Nightcrawler will roll for Brimstone Blitz in a single turn. So make sure to keep track as you place them all over the board. So here's a small tip that I do. I use a six sided die and I place it right on the table so that my opponent and I can keep track of how many times Nightcrawler has moved around that turn to keep track and make it very clear for everyone playing at the game. Rule number two, Nightcrawler's Puff of Smoke. So Nightcrawler's Puff of Smoke superpower doesn't require damage to occur. It can happen every single time with or without damage going into the enemy from the previous attack. So, hey, take advantage of that and rack up those places for his Brimstone Blitz. Rule number three, Storm's Goddess of Storms and Nightcrawler's Invisible in Shadow. Both of these superpowers, Goddess of Storms and Invisible in Shadow, function like stealth, but are not specifically stealth. So make sure that when you're playing, you realize that effects that ignore stealth do not work against Storm or Nightcrawler when those superpowers are active. Rule number four, Beasts Disconcerting Yet Provocative. Beast superpower disconcerting yet provocative works for every dice roll, for all of them. This includes attacks, defense, dodge, and crises rolls, all of them. So make sure you are keeping track every time you roll to see if you trigger is superpower. Rule number five, Wolverine's the best at what I do. Did you know that Wolverine can use the best at what I do on beam attacks, such as Montesi's book beams? Each attack within that beam would benefit from the best at what I do. Rule number six, Xavier's Dream. All right, let's talk about two different aspects of this card. So Xavier's Dream can be used to uh, reduce any form of damage. It also reduces the total amount of damage and not the total amount possible to receive. There's something else to be aware of with Xavier's Dream as well. So it can be used to gain the benefit of a superpower like Cyclops' Quick Draw. So that means that Cyclops can use Quick Draw and has maybe, let's say, two damage coming through after all the dice have been rolled. And then the Uncanny X-Men player throws down Xavier's Dream and negates that two damage. Then the player has a successfully met the conditions for Quick Draw and the opponent then suffers the damage that is sent back to the attacker for not dealing any wounds to the defender. Rule number seven, Professor Xavier's Mind Wipe. Xavier's Team Tactics card Mind Wipe states that when another allied character is dazed or KO'd by an enemy attack or superpower, Xavier may use the enough attack against the enemy character that made the attack. However, just to make you fully aware, it has been ruled that it should read that Xavier may use the enough attack against the enemy character that made the attack or the superpower. So it's a minor fix, but important to clarify nonetheless. Rule number eight, Angels Fallen. So Angels Team Tactics card Fallen allows you to trade Angel for Archangel when Angel is flipping to his injured side. And what's great about this card is that the character Archangel does not have to be included within your roster for this effect to occur. So this means that you can have Archangel with you when you are playing Angel and bring him in with no effect on your roster building. But just remember, in this situation specifically, Archangel wouldn't be officially in your roster, so you can't use him for squad building. Rule number nine, Wolverine and Colossus's Fastball Special. So with this Team Tactics card, if an enemy characters negate the damage from Fastball Special, say with maybe like Brace for Impact, they will still gain the bleed condition as it is not required to deal damage to give bleed. So make sure you are fully aware of that during that interaction. Rule number 10, Nightcrawler's Mass Transit. So Mass Transit gives Stagger, but remember that Stagger requires you to use your first action to shake Stagger. So what happens if you receive stagger mid activation? Well, let's break it down for you. So Nightcrawler could use mass transit mid activation, gain stagger, and then perform the rest of his full turn. But then the following activation, 
he must remove Stagger by using the shake action on his first action or with the help of some other means, maybe with a team tactics card or another character. So just think of it like this when you activate Nightcrawler or any other character for that matter. Does that character have Stagger at that point? If so, you got to use your first action to shake it. Otherwise, go on with your activation and go about your merry way. Guys, and that's it. 10 easy to miss rules for Marvel Crisis Protocol with the focus on the uncanny X-Men affiliation. Thank you so much for sticking around and hopefully you found this video to be helpful and informative. If you liked what you saw or you learned something from this video, it'd be great if you could like the video or subscribe to the channel. And if you have ideas on future videos or other easy to miss rules, feel free to comment those below. I read all of them and I try to respond to everything as soon as possible. I'm James from Midwest Protocol and thank you so much for hanging out. But now it's time to get back to gaming.